The overall goal of this procedure is to grow bacterial biofilms in the wells of a chamber slide. Each well is first inoculated with bacteria in growth medium, then cultured at 37 degrees Celsius. Once the biofilms have formed, a vital dye is used to stain the cells. The biofilms are then washed and fixed, and the wells are sealed using a cover slip. Finally, the cells can be observed by confocal microscopy and the morphology of different biofilms characterized. One advantage of this technique over existing methods, such as flow cells, is that the volumes are much smaller and therefore reduce the amount of any experimental compound that will be used. Also, more variables can be compared at one time in an eight-well chamber slide compared to a three-chamber flow cell. This method can help answer uh, several key questions in the field of microbiology, such as uh, kinetics of biofilm formation. This method can also provide insight into multiple diseases that include a biofilm component, such as chronic otitis media, cystic fibrosis, and chronic bladder infections, to name a few. Generally, individuals new, new to this method will struggle because there are numerous steps where the existing biofilm can be artificially disrupted. So therefore, vi visual demonstration of this method is critical, as the removal and addition of fluid steps are difficult to learn, and the chance of disrupting the biofilm due to shear forces is greatest at these points in the protocol. Demonstrating the procedure today will be Liz, a grad student from the laboratory. Inoculate bacteria in liquid culture medium and incubate the culture until it reaches mid-log phase. Dilute the mid-log phase suspension.